Mastering Security Planning Organizations that ignore aligning security goals with business objectives are doomed to fail. Why do the primary security goals and objectives of the organization, which its stakeholders expect it to achieve, need to align with its business objectives, and what are the specific key performance indicators that its leadership uses to measure their successful alignment and integration? The primary security goals and objectives of an organization must align with its business objectives to ensure that security efforts support and enable the organization's overall success. When security goals are aligned with business objectives, the organization can prioritize security resources effectively, allocate budget efficiently, and make informed decisions that balance risk management with business needs. Alignment between security goals and business objectives is essential because security is a critical component of an organization's overall risk management strategy. Security threats can have a significant impact on business operations, reputation, and financial performance. Therefore, security goals must be designed to mitigate these risks and support the achievement of business objectives. Stakeholders, including shareholders, customers, employees, and partners, expect the organization to manage security risks effectively to ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of its assets, data, and systems. Failure to align security goals with business objectives can lead to inadequate risk management, reputational damage, and financial losses. To measure the successful alignment and integration of security goals with business objectives, leadership uses specific key performance indicators KPIs. These KPIs may include 1. Risk reduction – the percentage decrease in security incidents or vulnerabilities, indicating a reduction in risk to business operations and assets. 2. Compliance and regulatory adherence the level of compliance with relevant laws, regulations, and industry standards, ensuring the organization avoids fines, penalties, and reputational damage. 3. Incident response efficiency, the average time to detect, respond to, and contain security incidents, minimizing business disruption and reputational impact. 4. Security controls effectiveness, the percentage of security controls operating effectively, ensuring the protection of assets, data, and systems. 5. Return on investment, ROI, in security, the financial return on security investments, demonstrating the value of security initiatives to business stakeholders. 6. Employee Security Awareness – The percentage of employees demonstrating security awareness and adherence to security policies and procedures, reducing the risk of insider threats. 7. Third-party Risk Management – The percentage of vendors and partners complying with organizational security requirements, minimizing the risk of supply chain attacks. 8. Security underscore budget underscore versus business underscore objectives, the percentage of the security budget allocated to initiatives supporting specific business objectives, ensuring alignment with organizational priorities. 9. Business underscore continuity underscore and disaster recovery, the percentage of business processes and systems restored within the established recovery time objective, RTO, and recovery point objective, RPO ensuring minimal business disruption in the event of an incident. 10. Stakeholder satisfaction, the level of satisfaction among stakeholders, including employees, customers, and partners, with the organization's security posture and risk management practices. These KPIs provide leadership with a comprehensive view of the organization's security posture, enabling data-driven decisions and resource allocation. By aligning security goals with business objectives and measuring success through these KPIs, the organization can ensure that security efforts support and enable its overall success, while minimizing risk and maximizing business value.